Hey, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the workout you're about to watch. It was filmed for a Facebook Live series. There's 12 workouts in total, but in order uh, to upload them via Facebook Live, I had to use the camera in my laptop or my cell phone. So the video and audio quality might not be where I want it to be, but hopefully you can still utilize these workouts for what they were intended for. And that is to help get you jump started towards your health and fitness goals. So without further ado, here's your workout. Good morning, Rich Rodriguez with Healthy Fit Boot Camp here in Tracy. And it's time to get through just the basic movements to try to help get people get jump started when it comes to their health and fitness goals. Now, if you're already working out, of course, you can use this workout, which is going to be about eight minutes long as a supplement to what you're already doing. But really, we're just going to cover the basics, um, again, to just really help people get jump started if they're not doing anything right now. Format is going to be the same as our first workout. If you've seen it, it's three exercises. We work three in a row, 30 seconds each, back to back to back. We follow it up with a 30-second break, and then we go through it um, for four rounds total. These are going to be our three exercises today. Today, we're going to do a reverse lunge first. We're going to start off with our feet together. Now, I'm just going to quickly go over um, some important cues and form and technique, um, things that we need to cover before we get into it. But of course, I'll go over it as we are doing it um, through the first round here. But reverse lunges first, we're starting nice and tall. We're gonna take a nice big step back. We're gonna lower that back knee towards the floor. That front knee should be over your ankle. If it's a little forward, that's okay. Just as long as it's not shooting past your toes here. So we wanna make sure that front knee is behind your toes, over your ankle. We're just gonna come up and then we're gonna switch. So stepping back into that lunge. If we're watching the knees, the way that we uh, modify it is by shortening the range of motion. So we might keep it a little bit shorter if we have something funky going on with the knees. Second exercise, we're gonna go into push-ups, so we're gonna need to go down to the floor. The way we set up for push-ups, we extend the hands straight out, pull the elbows back. Where your hands are at here, is where they should be at when you're on the floor. So a little bit wider than your shoulders. When you're down here, if you're doing it from your toes, hips are in, abs are tight, just like our plank that we did on Monday, right? We're just kind of building off of what we already did. So you start off in this high plank, lower your chest down between your hands, big push, right back up. Now, if we're just getting started with our workout routine, haven't worked out in forever, or we're not quite there to do our push-ups from our toes, you can drop down to your knees and do them um, from there as well. So if you still set up here, just lower the knees straight down and then work those push-ups. Yeah, we just want to make sure we're not leaving our butt in the air here. Okay, it's not that kind of party. Even if you're on your toes, we don't want our butt up in the air. Think about plank when you're working push-ups. Now I know a couple people who did the first workout with us couldn't get down to the floor. So what I'll have you do instead of push-ups, you're just gonna stay on your feet and you're just gonna work some kicks here. All right, that's gonna be your alternative. I'll remind you, but I'm gonna be doing push-ups, all right? And then our third exercise, after we're doing our push-ups, you're gonna go to your back and you're gonna work a bicycle. Shoulders up, abs tight. You're gonna rotate side to side as you alternate the knees in. If we need to, we can bring the feet down and march the knees in from here, but I still want the shoulders up and those abs tight. So let's get ready to start with our reverse lunges first. We're gonna do that in 10 seconds. So start nice and tall, feet together. I'll start facing you and then I'll show you from the profile view. Ready, and let's go. So big step back, head and chest up, and alternate. So. From the side, this is what it looks like. Remember, you're stepping back, lowering that back knee towards the floor. If you're watching the knees, keep the range a little bit shorter. But no matter how deep you're getting into that lunge, I want that front knee over that ankle. Eight seconds, and then we're gonna go into our push-ups. If you're not doing push-ups, you're gonna do kicks instead. Ready? And let's go, push-ups. Hands a little bit wider than shoulders. Lower your chest, push right back up. 
We can do it from our toes or from our knees. Since it's the first round, take your time with it because we're still warming up. Okay, so don't feel like you have to get a million here. We got three more rounds left. Four right here. Breathe as you push. Four seconds. We're going to go into our bicycle. Good. On your back. Shoulders up. Abs tight. Remember, alternate the knees in. Rotate from one side to the other. If we need to bring the feet down, we have that option. Keep breathing, though. Keep those abs tight the whole time. We got a few more seconds, and then we already are going to have our first break. All right, perfect. So that's one round. We're taking a 30 second break. We're going to get ready to run through it a second, third, and fourth time. Each round, we're going to step it up a notch, okay? Try to get lower with your range of motion. Try to see if you can do more repetitions. Maybe count how many reps you're doing. But always do it with good form. Five seconds, reverse lunge. Three, two, one, big step back. Right here, head and chest up. Right, we're gonna be looking across the room. I don't want us looking down at the floor. Okay, good posture. Whatever range of motion you need to work. Work that range. Five seconds, we go right into our push-ups. Two, and one. Hands a little bit wider than shoulders. Breathe as you push. Remember, if we're not doing it from the toes, we're doing it from the knees. But we're keeping our butt down, keeping those abs tight, and we gotta breathe, guys. Do not hold your breath. We got a couple more reps, and then we're going bicycle. On your back, shoulders up, abs tight, rotate. It's important that we are rotating towards that knee, and not just like chicken winging that elbow, right? But we're just kind of moving the elbow. I want you to rotate your shoulder, your armpit towards that knee. That's gonna help us use our obliques a little bit more. Good, relax. Two down, two to go. Deep breath, 30 second break. We're gonna start with those lunges again. Remember, always use good form. You might be trying to rush through it. If you're rushing, you might get a little bit sloppy. It's okay to go fast or faster if you're doing it properly. Four seconds. Feet together. Ready. Step your back into that lunge. Do what you can. If you're just beginning and you haven't worked out in forever, you might do 10 seconds, take a deep breath, and then get back into it. That's fine. If you stop in the middle of a set, no shame in that as long as you get back into it. All right, if you stop three times, you need to get back into it three times. Push-ups. Let's get down. I'm just gonna alternate a few on the toes, a few on the knees, just to keep reminding you what you should look like. Remember, no butts up in here. Hips are in. You're holding that plank. As you come down and come up, even from the knees. A few more reps. Bicycle on your back. Find somewhere to breathe. Remember your option here. Bring the feet down. Or keep them up. You can go, come on, until you hear that clock or until I tell you to stop. There it is, last 30 second break, which means this is our last round, just like that. 
Our eight minute workout's about to be over. Let's make this our best. We always save the best for last. We're not going to crawl across the finish line. We're gonna run through that bleep, okay? 10 seconds, reverse lunge, last time. Deep breath, head and chest up, feet together. Two, one, step it back. It's going to work at good speed for you. All right, if you start to get a little off balance, slow it down a little bit. All right, get that balance back. That front knee behind your toes, looking across the room. 10 seconds. We got our last set of push ups. Three, two, one. Let's get down. Hands wide in your shoulder. Remember, toes, knees, hips are in, abs are tight. I'm just going to keep saying the same things over and over until it's ingrained into your head. Back on the toes. Bicycles, last set. Keep breathing, come on. Try not to stop here. Finish it out. Push that leg out as you pull the other in. Last few reps. And relax. Perfect, this is, if I was super cool, I would lean back and do one of those things that cool people do, but I'm not cool, so I'm just gonna get up out of breath instead and say thank you. Let me stop this timer. Thank you for joining me. And if you know someone that maybe needs to get their butt off the couch, share this with them. I would love to be the little fire under their butt to get them started. So thank you again for joining me. High fives, because I know you killed it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for kicking butt with me today, and if you enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and share this with anyone you think would benefit from this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you're notified anytime we upload a new workout. If there's anything you would like to see us post in the future, or if you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below.